everyone. Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Black Opinions Matter, motherfucker. That's right. That's what that fourth M stands for, the second M, whatever the fuck. My name is Amino Hassan. I'm joined, as always, by Big Jer, Black Trey, our producer, Sean. Uh, Patreon.com slash Count the Dings. Make sure you are a Patreon. Make sure you're getting all that extra content, like the overflow episodes that we did the last couple of weeks, like the Cinephobe special edition episodes, like the live shows that we do every other Wednesday. It's only for our Patreons. Make sure you are down with all of that. Uh, got a fun show today. Let's see what we talked about today. We, we're going to get into the latest episode of Power. And somehow that transitions into Mr. Marcus and Wesley Pipes and, and wearing socks when you have sex. Man, it, it goes places. Trust me. We're also going to catch up with Oz. We're up to episode four now. Uh, Sean joins us for the first time to talk about his experience. He's the first time we're watching Oz. Meanwhile, me, Trey, and Jerv are still reliving the magic of uh, our introduction to the famous character, Kenny Wangler, a.k.a. Bricks. Uh, we see Jefferson Keene, a.k.a. Leon, go through his character arc. We see my man Tobias Beecher l- learn how to get high. And we talk a lot of other shit about Oz. Uh, but first, we catch up on my adventures in Vegas, Uh Sean's adventures in Portugal. But first, we get in a conversation about what's the proper etiquette in smoking weed in a COVID era. You, be, <laughs> bro, you put fuck, you got uh you had the Iris. Oh, that was your close friends. Yeah, it's all yo, good shout, though. Fuck yo, it. shout out the close friends, bro. Shout out the close friends, yo. Like I I'm honored and I I'm honored. To have That's such respectable gentlemen the, have me in their close friends list. Thank you. On the man. green, the green circle, you honored. Yeah. The green circle hey, status. my close friends don't be shit, but like inappropriate memes. <laughs> it be it, it, it. Yo, you know what? If our if our group chat is at like a fifteen on a scale of one to ten, your close friends is a, a, like a seven. Like, cause we're we're beyond a ten, right? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. it's it's at this point, it's like if we if someone goes down, we all going down. Oh, oh yeah, yes, yes. 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 I, I oh yeah. Care if you try to cane yeah. and roll or not, nigga. Rock gonna fuck. No, yeah. no, you, you 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 coming through with this shit? But no, my man asked me to. Uh, he was like, "Yo, can I smoke with you?" So it was one of them long. I was like, "Like, I, like I'm 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 going through all the more because I'm, I'm not trying to be an asshole." I took like eight more pulls, passed it to my man's, and said. You, can keep you, got, you it. got it, yo. That's a good you, rule. You, you, you can keep it, brother. That's, That's on me. That's a good rule. That's, That's a good rule right there. That's safety in COVID times. If you feel like you're going to actually, if you don't want to tell nobody no, get all your pulls out mm-hmm. and then here, brother. Now, you got to you gotta deal with that with however you choose your mm-hmm. life, yep. but I'm not about to inhale whatever you've been doing. Oh, and I know my and my man's ain't vax. So it was an easy decision for me. Oh, oh no, hell no. That's, that's, that's a, another thing too. You that's can't a no off the rip. You can't an, bum a joint off someone not knowing their vaccination status. No, yeah. that's an hey, hey, Jerv, that would have been a no, a straight no. no not yeah. vaccinated, and then, bro. And then you coming on here barking on the mic, nigga. <laughs> yeah. No, nah. wait. Nah. So do you just what about? So do you just? What's the what's the protocol for just you just ask homie like yo are you vaccinated and then you just take their word for nah, it? Nah, first of, no, no, vaccinated or not, bro, you should not be smoking yeah. with anyone. Now, oh, I do this, Trey. I, I'm sorry, I'm going to cut you off. No, you, you know could. I'm a I'm, I'm bong life, right? So when someone does pass me the bong, I I'm very much I take the lighter, you know, and I desensitize. Yeah. To to the point where Cassie's just like, yo, you serious? Yeah, fam. I'm super serious. Like I, I don't like, <laughs> like I, I take the lighter. Yeah. <laughs> this dude, this nigga. Yo, I feel That's I don't cool. trust you. Like I, I feel like you're setting me up. I take no, the lighter I and I, you know, the the uh the top of the bong. I um, you know, I take the lighter and I just, you know, I, I heat it all up for like a good 20, 30 seconds. So you so you really think you're killing the germs? <laughs> that one, does that work? Um it's, yeah, it's, you yeah, it doesn't doesn't heat kill bacteria? Not instantly, I'll, nigga. Nigga, I, I don't think yeah, so. He he kills oh. people, bro. Stop letting like people smoke look. after you. That's just the rules. Oh no, me. listen. Here you go. I thought I was doing something right. Clearly, I wasn't. No, I will was adjust. Hey, <laughs> listen, Game two, I'm going to adjust. An extra pre roll is like showing up with a fancy bottle to the uh 
to the function where you know you only going to pour it to the homies. Everybody not going to get a sip. Mm -hmm. So bring the extra pre-roll so that if you know you got a homie that smoke, here, bro. This your personal. This your personal. It's your personal because at the end of the day, I'm going to do them just like how you did, homie, Jer. I'm going to smoke that shit all the way down to a, like, not a roach yeah. size, but a little yeah. bit above the roach where you just still get your, get your rocks off. Yeah. Because and... I got to get mine, bro. Like, I pay for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm mean, saying? I, don't, I, don't I can't prepare. I can't. Oh, let me let me take that back. It's not that I pay for shit. I can't prepare. No, I was going to say, I don't did. pay for weed. So, I don't know. Shit for free. Uh, I don't know. I mean, because I'm not a real. <laughs> Look, I don't. I'm not hold a real smoker. Hold I'm like hold up, hold up, hold up, bro. I mean, I'm like bro. Snoop Dogg on half bake, bro. You, you know how the niggas show up and he just smoke up all your shit and leave. That's me. Yo, you yeah, hurt my heart in Boston, bro. You hurt my heart in Boston. Why? You hurt my oh because you know what I'm saying I'm like yo, my man's is in town. I'm in town with my man's. I know he. You know what I mean? I know what he do. We about to just. It's about to be fucking like crazy in this crib. He blowing back, yeah. Trey, he he not. I'm not saying you tapped out. You was very much like I'm good. Like you know what I mean. It wasn't like yo, I'm 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 too I'm too I'm too going. It was very much like nah, I'm cool. And I was just like, damn, yo, like I just I just assumed we was just about to just take this whole pack and we was just about to go through this shit. In well, minutes. I was just being I was being a pro on a trip because I know the thing <laughs> is we got to be talking all night, bro. Yeah. Like yeah. some some <laughs> things, it's kind of like after you supposed to go all in. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean? that's like if we do the live show, you do the set, which I still think I was drugged in San Francisco. But uh, overall, you yeah, do the set the and then you get lit after your set is over. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Where you have no responsibilities. And I feel like in Boston, bro, I was probably on like four sets. Every time I went to go talk, I was getting pulled back onto the stage. Yes. Well, listen, yo, so rookie move on my part in New York. I'm only thinking I'm doing. One, one set. set. Mm -hmm. So after the one set is over, people say, "Hey, Jerv, did it, it, and I'm like, "Bet." You know what I'm saying? I'm done for the night. I ain't got shit to do. And then you walk back there, and you know, Jay says, "Yo, you about to go back up?" And you're just exactly. like, "Oh, bro, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of fucked up right now." Exactly. So like, and now you up there cooked? Are you just and, you have? Oh yeah, no, fam. I literally sat next to a mean. And I sat there, couldn't say a fucking word. <laughs> no, got nothing for y'all. Wait, Not, somebody, nothing. Uh, Joe, somebody Joe kept through. smiling, shaking his head like this. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> no, I'm good. I shouldn't be up here right now. Wait, somebody yeah. slipped you a Cosby in San Francisco, Trey? Uh, bro, I don't know what happened. We went to dinner. We were fine. And I go up to do after bomb. I did the sports part, and I just blanked. I was telling a story about Monte Ellis. And they had to basically take me off stage, bro. I've never done that in my life. Yes, and I like to think me and Amin can drink, bro. Yeah. I'm not that's, one of them type of people that be like. That's how you know. Yes. But Trey, it was that's so how weird. You, I was in the you know. Trey, that's how you know, right? Yeah. It's like, it's this ain't my first time, you know, drinking a couple or whatever, taking some yeah. shots or whatever. So you know when. When you get the babbling and like stuff like that, like, oh yeah, this is this is something somebody, else. Somebody said, yo, Trey leaving with me to Nizai. <laughs> Bro, you, I was, you was on no, somebody's bucket list. Listen, dog, <laughs> I was in the back of the um the, the dressing room, like sleep, bro. Like dead <laughs> the whole crazy. show. I never no, that's never happened to me, bro, ever in my life. Where I was mm. out, bro, like the entire show. I mm. could have drank a whole bottle of Jameson, bro, and been fine. That's never happened to me in my life. And I was, I woke up so confused. Oh, you drink, drink. What did I lose? I mean, I lost a charger. Lost everything, man. He lost, I lost, he lost everything, bro. Lost a bunch of shit. Lost a jacket, right? Did you? Yeah, lose a it was a bunch of shit that was nigga gone. Lost, Damn. Nigga lost, lost items. <laughs> like, nigga, I was bro, literally. You, you, you might have needed to go run that footage back, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I this mean, sound, this sounds like, what's, who was that that said? Oh, did you? Oh, no, y'all don't listen to fucking. Y'all don't listen to uh to drink champs. Never mind. But no, you have to understand. Like everybody was joking about it, and I found humor in it after. But I was legit I was, concerned I was because I was kind of like, I don't I, remember. You know what I'm saying? And right. I literally got sass for it. Like, yo, you got to be better. And I'm like, fam, mm. I no. never. I'm I'm the most professional person, fam. Like, I don't I even drink. Like I wasn't. I, I wasn't. I wasn't. 
it wasn't about you and you whether you drank or whatever. I was mad that y'all letting every Tom, Dick, and Harry fucking get in the green room. The That's green what I was room pissed too. about. Yeah. Like, y'all let everybody up, people, people not vouched for. Like, I don't know these people. You bring mm-hmm. I'm leaving my stuff in there. Trey's leaving his stuff in there. And you bring in people that we don't know just because they say they're a fan of the pod or whatever. Like that was the shit that I didn't like, man. Like they try to <laughs> they try to make the conversation about something other than the most basic the thing is like, thing. yeah, don't let strangers in the green room. So now we go to in the in. future. If we pulling up to your city, you can't come to the G room. But anyways, long story short, man, how was y'all weekend? I feel like I ain't talked to y'all in a long time. Sean, tell us about the bro, trip, yeah. bro. Listen, listen, bro. Portugal poppy over here. Yo, I know you got a list. I know you got a list of places you want to check out, right? Like, you know, may you never been to Paris or Japan or whatever. Make sure Lisbon and Portugal is on your list. It's a must check out. The food was great. The people were warm. The uh, everyone was speaking English. Like, so I was working on my Portu- my Portuguese, but you know that shit is super rusty. But yeah, man, everybody speak English. Everyone was cool. The food was good. It's a lot of chicks out there. There's a lot of Wait, a lot of cool. Go ahead. Why do you know Portuguese? No, no, I, said I was working on it. Like I was trying to learn. Like he, he said, it was rusty. A no, sick he said man rusty. trying to learn. The nigga said rusty. Like, well, no, well, rusty. <laughs> no, 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 no. Rusty's the wrong word. It was yeah. I like you know I was reading okay. a little bit of shit on the got way you, over there, you. and okay. then was trying to work on it. And then wait, people, wait, wait, wait. How long was that flight? Me. How long uh, was that flight? Because I just yo, need to know how you, how long you had to think you was gonna learn pro- Portuguese. No, was, <laughs> like, come on, dog. I was trying to learn hello, goodbye. Oh, okay, shit like that. Okay, you know okay, okay. I thought you were just trying to be out to just having fucking conversations with people, bro. No, no, just because you know I feel if it, it's feel, I feel very disrespectful when I just pull up on people and start speaking English. Hey, like, hey yeah, like, oh, bitch. yeah, exactly. Like, yo, they're supposed to know Google like, Translate, bro. Right, Miss so Lady Bitch. Google Translate and you just hold the screen up and let them read it themselves, yo. Like, I'm sorry, oh, like, that's all I got for you. That yeah. shit now will speak for you too, Jerv. You don't even. Oh, have to, yeah. The new app. Hey, that was me in Colombia, bro. I was talking. To, I was talking to uh, a, a, a a joint, bro, passing the phone, cause you know what I'm saying, and was like, "Yo, da 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 da." That was a crazy situation. I and can't then they they that. they talk and then it translates for you. I mean, it's it's really cool. At the same time, I appreciate man, Sean. Yeah, that's a. That's a good look trying to look because you know what they appreciate it. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, so they would like yeah. be like, "Look, bro, I speak English. You ain't even got to do all. Yeah. You ain't even got to do all that." So, yeah. oh, ob- obrigado. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, man, it was really dope. My guy, uh, my guy is living out there for a little bit, so he invited us. He had a spot for us. Yeah, um, he showed us around. It was really dope, bro. And real quick, Jerv, on what you were saying about the flight from New York, bro. It's just my, like five my, hours, six hours. My guy caught a direct from Newark for like. Five hours and twenty minutes. There you go. I mean, that's that's you're as quick jerk, and easy okay. as it's gonna get. You know what I'm saying? You're muted, Jer. Jer, you're muted. Shit. Do you sleep on planes? Yeah, no problem. Okay. Yeah, you no, I'll be out. I'll be I'll out be on out the plane. Past. I'll be falling asleep before we take off, bro. One time I fell <laughs> oh, asleep. Yeah. One time I fell asleep, slept hard, woke up, it was dark, looked outside, lights, was like, oh, we're here already. We hadn't even taken off yet. <laughs> we delayed like an hour on the on the, the, the tarmac or whatever. I'll pop a mel- I'll pop a mel- uh, melatonin before I get on a plane. And like it's not, I don't I don't care. I'm I'm gonna get this this rest. I mean, how was Vegas? What's the what what was I'm, what was I'm, Vegas like, bro? I can't do this shit, man. Yo, Vegas, yo, Vegas was first of all. Shout out to, uh, let me start with the positives. Shout out to the casinos. Every casino I went to, they were very strict about the mask rule. Everybody who didn't have a mask on was like literally in the act of drinking or eating. Uh, They're so serious that even if you say, oh, I'm drinking, you know, in between sips, bro, that shit got to be up. In between bites of your sandwich, that shit got to be up. So from that standpoint, yes. From the standpoint of just the sheer number of people, overwhelming. Overwhelming as hell. Went to Summer League, overwhelmed. That was my first live event since March of 2020. Just, I was thrown off by the number of people in the crowd and the number of people walking around and stuff. And then, obviously, like, with the NBA people, the people I know, 
seeing so many people back to back to back and hey and they want to do the stop and chat shit like i was i had underestimated how tiring that is it is a a very energy intensive event trying to you gotta again you gotta you can't be like dragging and shit you gotta be as excited to see these people as they are to see you so that was i like i, I would come back to my hotel room every night like done just absolutely <laughs> just fucking cooked yeah, yeah man and, and and to be there seven days or eight days however many days i was there it was it was long um i didn't get to go to the buffet which i wanted to do i only saw the pool one day it was Wait, all right you you were gonna and i i i'm I have no problem with buffet buffets, right? Oh, but COVID. I feel like I feel like I I that that kind of you kind of caught me off guard with right that. I didn't feel like you'd yeah. be buffet ready yet. Now, now, now that you said, I didn't even think about that shit to be honest with you. Yeah, <laughs> but, I mean, I, I forgot. Overthinkers, like, you you ain't gonna think that. Like you thinking some type of normalcy sometimes flashes. The only thing you're yeah. right initially, you're thinking mass first. Yeah, mask are the first thing that you think, and mm -hmm. then you're also the second thing is shit. I'm vaccinated. But yeah. So I, also, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So. So. Yeah. So obviously the mask always everywhere I go and I'm always got like my eye out who ain't got a mask on. Mm -hmm. I, I just get second of all, washing my hands like mm -hmm. or hand sanitizer. They got them everywhere. So those are two things I think about the most and the quickest. But where like, were you staying like, at? Uh, I said at Cosmo. Oh, so you were so, chilling. Yeah. So but the. The, the some shit snicker. some shit just flies over your head like Jerv, I swear to God I didn't even think about buffet shit until right now. Yeah, you're not, you're not gonna think like that, bro. You no. thinking mask? You thinking I'm vaccinated? Thinking about yeah. washing my hands, my hands? And then the rest is kind of like, okay, bro, I ain't got a mask. Let me venture off over here. Yeah. Okay, that person ain't got a mask. Let me venture off over here. But outside of that, you still feel yeah. like, and hey, everything. Bumps. Yeah, Chris but I, don't even, I ain't Chris even doing bumps. that. I'm head nod at this point. Yeah. Sometimes you forget or whatever, but it's still cool. But like I can understand, but just the idea, I had no fear of missing out of Vegas. I seen a lot of people there and on from Instagram, and I was just kind of like, oh, that looks miserable. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's kind of like it's cool, it's a job. You want to watch hoop, you know, you're around the basketball community, the internet in real life, like the oh. Chanel fucking show. So you're meeting up like, hey, I'm at mm -hmm. such and such. I tweeted you in 2018. And you're like, cool. <laughs> What's up, bro? All right, right on. I got to go over here. And then motherfuckers, is, can I take a picture? All right, now you're taking a picture. And then now you're trying to go politic with your partners that work for other media outlets. And shit is cool. You look up. It's 10 p.m., 11 p.m. Yep. You're like, I'm trying to go back to my room. Motherfuckers talking yep. about let's go out. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, I it's just nonstop. I'll I'll tell you the, the thing, I didn't go out. I I went out once. I just I went out one time, went out, out, out. Okay. Um and I was behind a DJ booth, so away okay. from Gen Pop for sure. Right. Uh but other than that, like the bar scene was where it was at. Like the the lobby, the lobby bar shit. scene. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nobody yeah. No, like that's, I was like W to, Scottsdale flow. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't trying to do mar a marquee or none of them spots. Like, what's that, the one man. with the chandelier? Chandelier bar. Yeah, it's called chandelier bar. Yeah, second that's floor. the that's the best one. I yeah, feel because everybody mobs through there. Yeah. You ain't got to do too you much. You had your central. drink. You mm -hmm. see everything. You, you see everything to you got a great vantage point, bro. Here's the worst part about every night. Like the next morning, if I if I drink the night before, the next morning I wake up always congested. And always tired. So it's like every morning I woke up like fuck. I caught that shit. <laughs> black, hey. black seed oil, brother. Hey, get that congestion right out of you. Look at look at look at Doctor Jerby. I'm, I'm just trying to tell you, brother. Black <laughs> seed oil. Black Take care right out. One hey, this this tablespoon. This nigga Doctor Jerby, bro. This nigga. <laughs> just, this nigga watched the verses one time, bro, and now he wouldn't be Doctor Jerby. They gonna kill you, yo. They gonna come kill you like Doctor Sevy. <laughs> hey man, I got I got a policy. I'll be all right. My, everybody be taken care of. Yeah, Look is. at this man, bro. Sick I need to man. get one. I don't have one. Yo, so let's let's start with Oz, bro. Ah man, I saw I saw episode three. I didn't catch episode four. So hey, I would even bro. The I star mean, you could talk about it. I've it was, seen it before. Sometimes. It was very Jefferson heavy. Yeah, which Both one's Jefferson again? Uh, Leon. 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 
Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like he's going through all these emotions and things like that. And but mm. you know, bro, bro from the commercials, I forgot his name, bro. Ryan O'Reilly, man. Ryan O'Reilly is so yeah. messy. Like oh. he's the messiest nigga on the show right now, bro. Yeah. He's, he's oh, a snitch. Oh, he's not a snitch. He's like just manipulative as yeah, fuck. he just yeah, go ahead. Like, wait, how's he how's he not a snitch? I get the manipulation, right? Totally right. agree. But uh, I feel like if you literally go to people and say, "Hey, such and such did but it," he, but he's eh, not telling. I'm gonna put you in the snitch category because nah, he's initially not telling. He's just like yeah. kind of starting fires and then kind of. Okay, so, so let's let's paint it like this, Trey. They they so this is what he does. He comes into the interrogation room, right? He says, mm -hmm. "I don't know anything." Then they come back with the coke and the chicken sandwich, and now all of a sudden, my man knows. Everything <laughs> we still call those people snitches, right? Nah, man, Look, nah, because he petty, bro. Okay. It's like, yeah, when when, bro, like, when when what's the name? What's the name? Douglas or what was the name? The, the dude, the dude that was kind of right hand to the t Italian, bro. I mean, to the uh, oh, dude from the white room, uh, Dino, Dino Orlani, or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he telling, bro, like, oh, where my money at? Because he was playing, um, he was playing cards with, uh. Right. With, with, with bro uh, in a yeah. uh, wheelchair. And he said, he come back to him. He said, man, I'll pay you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, not right now. He like, no, nah, I want my fucking money now. So they like split it up. And he like, oh, that shit just pissed me off. So now I'm about to just make shit a little havoc. And then, you know, he go cause the rip. And he's a, he's the Jamal Tinsley of this shit, bro. The yeah. malice at the palace situation where he don't mm. have to do it, but he instant, he just making that shit just even worse. Yeah, well, I, he, he had to do the first one though. Which one? Where the guy, uh, whatever the boys that they had the sick uh, funeral picture, of him sitting oh, in the yeah. car with like the gun or whatever it was, okay, like Johnny Post, Johnny yeah. Post, yeah, man. like he he had to he, he had to tell on him, you know what I mean? It was too many layers of people that could snitch, well, so he, he he had to be the first, yeah, because he knew it was about to get out, so he tried to get ahead of it by doing that. My favorite shit was when like Jefferson was like, "Yo, man, we got to change or whatever." This nigga's like, "All right." Mm -hmm. Again, like he's always doing it to stay a step ahead of the shit that's mm -hmm. happening. So he thought like Jefferson was about to turn him over. So he's like, I can't get caught up in this shit. So I got to get him out first. But I can't have the Italians do it because what if they start talking to each other? So he said, mm -hmm. Hand I'll handle it. But how the way he handles it is fucking genius, man. He gets the fucking guard. The, 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 no, well, the guard, but gets the essays yeah. to try to do it, mm -hmm. knowing that he's going to kill one of the essays. So now the essays are like, Yo, we gotta get him. He killed one of ours. So Ryan mm -hmm. basically, his hands are clean of the whole shit. He's a mastermind, bro. Dude, he's my favorite character. Him yeah, and he's all BC. over it because they. Hey, like, at a BC right right now, if you're watching this for the first time, I'm gonna tell you like as the show goes on, at a BC evolves from like just muscle or whatever to like a scheme or two, and that shit gets real good. Okay, yeah, that's me because I just I literally just started it last night. I was telling Trey I was catching up. Yeah, yeah, this is my first time, so I watched two last night and two this morning. Yeah, yeah I'm excited. Yo, I'm enjoying it. I Jerv, you said you was talking. It was. It so was, I, was I was about to ask you that question, like how, how as as you're seeing it the first time. You, so you are thinking like, yo, this is this is thorough. Yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the character okay. development. I love like the little flashback and then people explaining why each. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just grumpy true. now. Yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was well, well done. Yeah, nah, it's the funniest got that old gritty feel to it too. It's yeah, so it's so it's so grimy and, and all the other things. And then you really think about it like I was thinking about also uh bruh from Bodie from the wire. Yeah, Brick and he pulled, yeah. So he pulls up, he has a do-rag on, he has the jersey over the t-shirt with the pant, the LL very, one leg roll up. Very and 90s, Russ, yeah. And Bruh's trying to like get down with everybody. First, he comes to like yeah. he's trying to get down with the Jeets, yeah, and then he goes Go to, to the, the Muslims. Muslims. And then now he's just getting high throughout the whole shit, and he just has a voice, and he's just frustrated, like, "Nah, let's get him." That's you know, like, you know what I mean. He's just being outspoken, but it's so hilarious because he's supposed to be sixteen when he walked in. But yeah, that's how's he there? His, his, his tried as an adult. Tried as an adult, as an adult yeah. at sixteen, bro. Yeah, but okay, I me, mean, I just don't really know how that works. Then I guess when right? he came in, I thought he was someone super important because, like, it looked the way they framed it. It was like Kobe or something walking around in L.A. Like, everyone stopped what they were doing. They were looking at him coming in the spot. I'm like, who is this dude? 
And then he didn't end up really being just he was just like a young kid. I thought it was yeah. gonna be somebody important when he came in. Hey, hey, Sean, I hate to break it to you, man, but if you a young light skinned nigga that show up to prison, man, like you getting your shit what? rammed. Oh, is, oh, is what? that is that guess the what? angle? Guess what? Everyone's gonna stop what they're doing. Like <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That so that's what they were trying to portray right there. Like some yep. some fresh mm-hmm. meat, young, yeah. light skinned. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking yeah, he was like some powerful. Crazy. I'm thinking he's hey. some powerful street motherfucker. No, and man. okay, now I, that hey, makes sir. sense. I got you. You know what the funniest shit was too? I can't even think of bro name, bro. The Muslim leader. When bro had the aneurysm. Saeed. 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 Hey, when Saeed yeah. fainted, bro. He was like, it reminded yeah. me of the it reminded me of the Star Trek gift. Yeah, yeah some some yeah. Some so this some soap opera style acting from time to time at us like that's, My that's nigga, undeniable that's shit. Hey, I, I remember, can't even i can't even front on it <laughs> hey and and bro uh since like you know i've been using the oz rewind uh uh hashtag and motherfuckers is like yo you you gotta be a special individual to rewatch oz because <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was a lot of shit they be dropping the m-bomb they oh, killing yeah. niggas my nigga oh. jefferson thought the nigga penis was a, a cannoli yeah. Uh, oh fuck, man. Oh shit, fuck. <laughs> hey, Put my man shit in the takeout box, the Lord. Hey, his brother yeah, pulled up. Right. His brother yeah, pulled I'm back not- up. He said, "Hey, man, you gotta stop being an f word." Yeah. <laughs> he was like, "No, brother, you gotta love him a different way." <laughs> and then they had that little deep moment between him and his yeah. dad before he goes. Yeah, it was well, like um, it was cool. The uh, the crazy thing was, oh, is that what happens in episode four? Yeah. Do they, is he does he they put him on death row right they put him on death yeah. row but they don't show how he dies you know what i mean they gotcha. just kind of you know he gives his kidney to his sister yeah. and then the dad is like i feel no. like it all happened pretty fast like extremely fast right like, yeah even, exactly. even even his chains to a good guy like you know what i mean like i feel like well like, no well jerv if you notice from the beginning like even though he's a he's like a bad motherfucker or whatever you could tell like he's having like these moments of like, what the fuck am I doing? Totally mm-hmm. understand it. I just feel like it should have happened like the next episode, not like, hey, at 50, All the 59, in yeah, like in the one minute mark, we have this conversation again. And then by like six minute mark, you're not even like struggling with the thought, like you're full fledged, yeah. you coming in asking for peace. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know, just, <laughs> and, and then, and then two episodes later, like we just, we, so they basically gave us his entire arc. In yeah. that in that five minute span, because yeah. he was he had to get out of here. Yeah. Hey man, the character got uh, uh, you know these contracts ain't ain't always for f- full seasons or whatever. He got Leon for how long? Six episodes. All right, let's make the most of it, bro. As a uh, ball, as a ball man, the the Muslim cap kind of hard to me. Like if I if, yeah, it didn't oh, have, yeah. if it wasn't such like a strong state, and I would have to rotate that yeah, into man. the fence hey, or some uh, shit. But Usher did it for a strong like seven years or whatever. Nobody said anything to him, man. He was rocking it. The remember he had the knit hat yeah. back like yeah. yeah. I don't the, remember that. He was talking talk, the knit you, was, you was off, bro. We was talking about eighty seven on one. He had uh, it, bro. Yeah, bro. He was he was out here koofied out, bro. Big <laughs> dog. On the you remind me, but he's a sick nigga. Yep. He was wearing it on top of the do rag yep. with the do rag tucked. Just, yep. <laughs> well, uh, hey, yeah, Sean, go ahead and Google Usher Koofy. Just okay. Hold on, my nigga. That is a that's a wild image. I, I'll but say yeah, this bro. Was... No, I was just gonna yeah. say if it wasn't such a strong statement, I'll have to rotate. I'd have to get. I'd have to cop some of those and, and rotate it in there. And the nigga had the three way in. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, just, the, just do the uh, beanie like uh, at a BC, bro. That's 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 what I'm on all winter. Let that shit just sit on the yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could do that too. Oh yeah, he is yeah. sick See? though for this. He had it. He had it cocked. No, but he had it tilted to the side, like trying to swag it. He had it cocked to the side. Oh shit! I never really realized that's what that is. Yes, nigga. Wow. He had the the koofy, bro. Whoa. That's the point. Oh. Nigga really uh, tried to swag out a koofy though. Sick nigga. A koofy <laughs> over the do rag is a lot of commitment. Yo. I'm not even gonna lie. Yo, I don't even uh, know what type of time my nigga was on during this time. The that other, the other funny all. shit was the as we follow what's happening to Beecher. Uh, 
First Beecher all, getting man, high off everything, my man, bro. My man O'Reilly got him, got him high. My fucker came out smiling and shit. Fucking uh, Schiller just talking about. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want you on that stuff. <laughs> you hear me, Prague? You made that man lick his shoe, bro. Yeah, See, he I was polished sick to my clean boots. His boots. Yeah, bro. with your tongue. And then hey, all, <laughs> all the boys got up and like <laughs> they, they want to watch this shit, man. What is this gonna lick that shit? Oh. Jerv, you talk about something happening quick. I thought that relationship turned quick. Like it was his homie for like a like thirty seconds. Yeah, because he, he was wasn't his homie. Well, right, but like he was trying. It looked like he was trying to give him some game, and all of a sudden he yeah. had got him to commit to him in the next minute too. And it was like, damn, he's so rag locked. So I, I didn't. I didn't have a. It's crazy. I didn't have a problem with that because I felt like he was so impressionable. Like he was. He was. He was. He's like the perfect candidate to just. Yeah. Like you know, just have everything, every piece, every piece of like game ran on him, right? Like yeah, this is he this is someone. The the best way I can describe it, this is someone who's never watched Oz, right? So <laughs> so like him himself, right, Beecher, because he goes to prison. He's like you know they were trying to make an example out of him, uh, because he killed a kid in a drunk driving accident or whatever, and so he's like scared and stuff. Out of BC, obviously come in pushing up on that nigga. Out of BC, big black dude, whatever African accent. That's just get. I get a little scared scary my damn self. I'm not gonna. Oh, no, all, any of us would be scared, but like especially for a white guy who's like a lawyer who never had to deal with none of this shit, or whatever. So when another white guy says, "Hey man, like uh, I don't worry about out of BC. I got you." Da da da. His like, stupid cool. soft motherfucker muff, himself was like, "Oh yeah, thank you. Now we could be friends or whatever." Like, nah, man, I just want you on my dick instead. <laughs> yeah, told, yeah. Him to ask, told him to ask for the transfer. Don't worry. Hey, Sean, but what I will say is his uh, his transition from weed to uh, to to lady to to lady Heron. It's kind of fast. Hey, to me. the nigga <laughs> got a fast to me, bro. No, but that's the thing. Here's here's the thing. He just was on some towel shit from South Park. You want to get high? Like he was pulling up, bro, with just anything, bro. He said, "Introduce you to my friend, Hera." <laughs> Yo, I, I think the, the one thing though you got to remember. I remember reading about this a long time ago. Is that we don't know what time is. That, like the, that's the beauty mm -hmm. of that show because okay. it's like prison. You don't know this is a couple of days or a couple of weeks because they all run into each other. Like and all the, yeah, all the, it's, the it's, it's, it's even one part in the show where the nigga said, "Yo, what day is it?" He yeah, like, it's Monday. He's like, "Fuck, man!" Like, like I thought, you know, I thought like, it was then, Saturday. You know? Like yeah. it was like they don't. There's no sense of time. So, Jerv, some of the stuff that might seem like it's happening quick. That's interesting because they don't. Yeah. You're in prison. You don't know what what day it is or what time it is or anything like that. And so, <laughs> you know, you just well actually me, right? I did, man. I man no, the you fuck just, out you of that show. You just, know, you just well actually me. So you're absolutely right. I was wrong. You were right. It's a dope. I mean, for for like a regular TV show, you might say, man, that's kind of lazy. But like, it's a show about prison, bro. What can I tell you? <laughs> yeah. But uh, yo, on yeah. the same token, though, it is interesting that it's like, okay, we don't really know when the time is, but they make it a point to like always flash what time of the day it is on the screen too. So it's like. Yeah. Yeah, they like oh, they, yeah, oh, in the in the first mm -hmm. in the first the first episode, but they don't do that as okay. you go on. Yeah, okay. nah, you're that, not gonna see it. Okay, they were what? just that first episode. They were trying to like because they're trying to get you to the mentality, get you like, to the the routine hey, of this shit, right? Yeah. So, 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 bruh, who was being tricky and said niggas up, bruh? He he loses Spanish shorty, and now he banging the white joint. Yeah, Wait, which one? The uh the 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 the, uh, the 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 dude the um the nigga whatever. who runs the one who runs the uh AIDS uh yeah oh uh, yeah. the wing the hospital AIDS wing or whatever yeah, yeah. I'm not mad how fast that happened though because I felt that was realistic he was it was literally right right place right time you know what I mean he sees the he sees the moment like that made sense to me that that yeah, that, that quickness was yeah he was smooth with the dinner shit too when he asked me to go to dinner and all that yeah, yeah he, was, he was smooth with it. Yeah, like, nah, so he, for it, he a sick nigga, bro. He just was black. No, but he's just bashing out during the whole execution oh, shit. Are y'all talking about who you, you talking about? McManus or you talking about McManus? McManus, yeah, bro. Oh, McManus run the whole goddamn M City man, cell block five. Uh, right. McMahon, yo, that's I was always the crazy shit to me. Is like, how's McManus getting so much pussy? The man. But then I was like, if you work in a prison, and like obviously, like the women who work at the prison aren't gonna fuck the inmates. Yeah, the leverage. It's like, yeah, it was leverage, leverage, <laughs> selection, extreme, extreme leverage, man. Like she's around shit balls all day long. Here comes one decent dude. 
you could be the biggest dick in the world, which McManus is, is a big fucking asshole. But mm-hmm. because, hey, man, what you going to do? You going <laughs> you to fuck uh, uh, Nino Shabetta? Come on, man. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, man, the first four got me hooked. Like, I'm I'm looking forward to watching this shit. Yeah, so, bro, yeah. it's a good it's, – it's really a good show. You know what I'm saying? It's just more so just so raw and – and you gotta have to think about, you know, like Jerry was like, oh, it didn't age well a little bit, but it's 1997, bro. Like, yeah, right. there's no studio tricks, there's no special camera effects. If you got a nice ass TV, it's just not gonna match the resolution. You just gotta bear with it yeah. and understand where it is. It's cut off I'm, I'm, on the side and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit ain't quite 16 yeah. by nine. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna say a couple of things. I thought some of the fight scenes were kind of whack. Like it's that's one of those things where like that's a 1997 thing where like today they bring in like trainers, martial arts people, whatever, and like yo, when you yo, fight, you gonna fight like this. Remember that the nigga like, through the weights? Yeah, the shit. that's what I was thinking, <laughs> about. bro. He picked up, he picked up, he picked up a whole thing and tossed that shit, and my man was about to bench that shit. Yeah, hey, that yeah. shit, that shit was like you know the balloon. The, the the balloon weights in the cartoons where yeah. it say twenty five yeah. and yeah, they just yeah. lost their shit. <laughs> That's, That's exactly what it was. You know, meanwhile, the 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 dude, the serial killer dude who ate his parents or whatever. Yeah, he he's a wild he nigga. Holding a basketball and he started like crouching and watching them niggas fight. But uh, but yeah, so so the fight scene I thought was like, all right, like this is very nineteen ninety seven. But the thing <laughs> you guys have to keep in mind, I guess Sean more than anybody or Sean or, or any of the listeners yeah. who are watching this for the first time. Oz is always going to, because you're going to see a lot of people come through this prison, man. Many of them are actors you'll have known from some other shit. Like, oh, that's my man, da da da. But, like, the ones who are there long term, you really have to track the way their personalities change because they evolve. They really evolve. So the show is kind of like, it's two tracks. One is the motherfuckers who are just there all the time. Schillinger, Beecher, uh, out of BC, Bricks, uh, you know, the, the Saeed or whatever. But then there's going to be a bunch of these motherfuckers that come in, two, three episodes, and then out. And so it's kind of like you just got to balance figuring out who's actually here to stay versus who are people that's just just here for, uh, for a good time but not a long yeah. time. Right. Yeah. Wait, wait till you see uh our former arch nemesis pop up for like three episodes, oh, three or four yeah. episodes. He was there for a minute. I think it was more, maybe it was maybe it wasn't. We'll we'll find out. But uh he was there for a minute, man. That shit was because because then he came. Remember he he went out and then he came back again. He did come back in. I'm, yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna say his name. I'm gonna just let y'all. When it happens, it happens. It might not be for a couple of seasons, but it's. Like I said, there's some recognizable names that show up on this show. Uh, power, power. Oh, shouts, man. shouts to Rock, man. A woman's intuition. You know, she's a, what you gonna say? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, man, she she knows her kid. She know, even though she shouldn't be going in my nigga room. He like what? But he only fifteen. I, that, I was about I, to say he's on. He only fifteen. I, I have to dial back because I always think the nigga's seventeen. Like I seen a meme where a nigga said, actually it was my nigga young young uh young money Lito. My nigga said we six episodes in. <laughs> no, he said we five episodes in, and Kanan just now finally selling rock. Like he wanted to get right to it, but like we gradually growing and forgetting how young the nigga's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Like he really low key in the ninth grade. He taking college preparatory classes. He trying to get into school versus we thinking in our mind that he's supposed to be going and graduating to college. You feel yeah. me? And rushing yeah. his and rushing his age and his growth into the streets. Uh, I give him a shout out to the last scene where they talk about. People thought like, oh, I he was what he was because of what the environment grew up. It was like, now nah, I had a choice. I made this choice. <laughs> they, they basically, yeah, I had a choice. And it's true. Like, if you think about it, his character arc, you're supposed to be your mom wants you to do well in school. She puts you in a good school, uh, you know, out cross city, cross town, uh, to take college preparatory courses. You got like a strong male role model in this light skinned nigga symphony or whatever. This this little nigga decided he wants to do this shit, man. Uh, so we finally he, he's not selling rock yet. By the way, he's just mm-hmm. he's just it. learning. He's learning how to cook. He'll, he'll, he's he'll learning how to be cook. cooking next episode. I I like that. I like they. I like that they use the term spaghetti and meatballs. 
You know why? why? Yeah, huh? no, why? I want to know why. why? Yeah. Uh, can we uh, boss it over? Yeah, of course. Like I was surprised that she did it at their house. Well, she 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 said she said, "Yo, you never cook where you supposed are we, to." Are we back, by the way? Yeah, we're back. We're back. Okay. Yeah. You you never yeah. cook. You never cook when you're supposed to, where you where you rest your head. And then she said that, she said they're only gonna cook up a a, a small batch. So she was, you know, what I mean, she okay. was she was laying the law down. Like, yo, this isn't what you do with your crib. Now they she didn't say the you know that aspect. Uh, the, uh, the concept of the apartment above the other apartment so that you could like, if something happens, you could throw down the chute. I like that. I, but my one question is what if they raid the downstairs apartment? Power. Oh, wait, wait, it's power. Why are we questioning this? This is power. I mean, I mean, you know, you gotta, you gotta think about it, I guess, in this situation of they're not going to sail out of the bottom. And then okay. also it's supposed to be, I'm, we're not supposed to be this smart in the eighties. You know what I'm saying? We thinking about it in our 2021 eye, right, like, right. duh, nigga, that's stupid. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's but, like, but Trey, it's, it's like it's she's different. reinventing the wheel. That's what Rock is thinking, because that's I why Mark. So. That's why. That's why the brother is like, oh, like I'm gonna. I get it, sis. Like now I'm gonna get in line finally because yeah. my sister's on some next level of shit. Like she's like, oh, we're looking down at the comp, and when they come, like she's like reinventing the stash house, like you know I mean, the stash her. box. Yeah, she knows mm -hmm. what she's doing type shit. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Like Rock is going to be yeah. how she's like, how drug dealers move now in the two thousands. Everybody fighting over corners. We gonna be up here. I'm like, you're not getting the dope fiends to just line up, go all the way upstairs to get their shit. Well, man. they no, nah, no. Nah, Frank Lucas corners. did. So she, 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 I, I think she's trying to create the the Carter. And I don't know if he want that type of attention or she's going to have that much power. But obviously, we'll get to the point where Omar Epps is his dad. And like, yeah. how, That's how, crazy. how, That's how much crazy. the nigga's going to be able to twist the arm in the streets of having your mom be this type of queen pin and then your pops never, you know, because he overly looking out now. He's going to try to find That's a way to convince him. Hey, yeah, if they got twist, that, man. if they got that, that heat, the dope definitely fiend did. definitely walking up the stairs. Did? No problem. No, I didn't. No, I did not see it coming. Hell no. Nah. When he when he when the blood was on the napkin, I kind of was like, okay, because he was doing too much research. And I was like, maybe. And he did the DNA shit. I I look, I thought I thought the DNA the the blood on the napkin was like they were gonna get him for the killing. Some other shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, nah, got see, your ass now. When he had he looked at that, he looked at the, he looked at the no, birthday but when, also. But when he had what's the names? Uh the fake dad, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh That's wild. Files up, he like nigga. I hit rock at this time, <laughs> and rock and, and and such and such was locked up. So th this shit, the math ain't math. And when he finds out that the kid is fifteen, you know. So yeah, um, is it is it me that everyone that talked about rock gave like the impression that that one time or at one time, like even though I know that the young boy didn't like at one time they've knocked rock off. Like was it just me? Because even my man that came to me rumble, like the way he kind of said it, like I knew what he meant, but I was like, damn, did he not? Did nah. he not rock off too? Me and nah. your moms go back a long way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but he nah, he ain't that old. But he also is on some shit. Like he just don't know they loyal to so. My man sympathy ain't, ain't ain't that old either, bro. He, like, I think he's young too. Is there is there ever a time you can say me and so and so go way back? You talk about a girl, and you're talking to another dude who's either related to her or involved with her in some way. That can, it can be understood as anything other than I used to beat the brakes off of that. That's such a that's such a thin line. I don't even think I would ever use it because I, I, I don't think that's yeah, I don't too think, close. You're right though. I don't listen. If Rock was the pop and she'd have graduated, I mean, shouts to her. She moved yeah, her to I mean, the big yeah. house, but when it comes up initially, that's your first thought, one hundred percent. You got to, you yeah. got to, you got to hit up some follow up questions. I just didn't think, like, I just didn't think the street soldier was on that. I just think that you know, nah. like you lucky, I'm not gonna pull this shit because of you know, like my loyalty, and you don't know, you have the slightest right. clue of my connection with your mom, family. Like, right, right. I would literally die for your mom, bro. Were you were you surprised He's, that he he flipped? So quickly, talk about that. I know, that's I the plan. Kidding. That's the plan. I think Rock told that nigga when she pulled him over to the side to go do that. For sure. Oh, uh, okay. For sure. All right. 
I, I that, mean, that, that, the, the weed may be weeding me, <laughs> but nah, that's how nah, deep you, I looked into no, that it. Sounds, that you, sounds right like, a, that very one, power, like yeah. a power. Like, like it, it power. fell into the plan. It's like she power told, like, 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 bro with the bad stomach told her what happened between her and Kanan, and that bro had some eyes, and like, you know, people actually thought whether it was, you know, Kanan fucked up. Kanan's fuck up turned into a plan. Do you, do you, do you think Kanan is going to fuck up and kill him? Yep. I don't think so. Yep. I, I don't think so because no, because she taught him the she taught him the ways and he got to get in line. But I do think now that Kanan is going to be in an iffy spot because he's trying to protect Shorty. Because the mom oh, gonna wait, probably yeah. do some shit and that's gonna tarnish their relationship. Cause mm. cause because jukebox no. Well, jukebox is gonna be now that the uncle has paid for the studio time and she going to be more lenient to go towards that. Also, why them kids didn't lock that door? I don't know. Well, mom's, I, been, mom's been busting in. The, 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 uh, every day. Every, every day. Episode. Anytime. Any kick it. And I was getting anxiety because I'm waiting on it. I've been waiting on it. They've been making off superly openly for three episodes. She went down on her. Great. Shouts to that. But then they listened to the they listened to the famous uh, you know, yeah. little single. And then the doors. All of a sudden, yeah. not locked. I at least rather hear a, you know yeah. what I mean, trying to get in, and then you go from there, and then like yeah. she's just talking to her I'm like she's just some abomination. We've all been there, man. Where you you doing a thing, and they, you just look up, and you stop right mid stroke or whatever. I got caught, bro. I got caught. Something. I was I was nineteen. I got caught, bro. Mid hit. How'd you get caught? Oh, so the girl's mom. Shouts to her too. This is nineteen year old girlfriend. Um. Uh, her mom worked around the corner from the crib and I pulled up and I'm thinking she's sweet. So I done went to 7-Eleven, made the run, cracked the three pack. I'm closing. I'm doing my West side. <laughs> Mom's probably was at the, at the little spot right there watching for oh. like a good 45 seconds family before I like acknowledge. And she said, uh-huh, uh-huh. And at the door? Literally right there, bro. Oh, no. And but it was like an opening. It wasn't like a like walk-in door. It was an opening. And the thing was, was that she kind of took a swing at me and missed. And I was so, you know how you're like your heart beating so yeah. fast, my adrenaline, bro. I didn't even get to take the condom off, bro. I put my pants on. I'd have had to fucking get up out of there as fast Dude. as I could, bro. Cause I didn't know who she was gonna call, hey, bro. And Damn, I slid. That, that that but I was that nervous that because she got kicked out of the house after that. Oh, oh yeah. The, the, the same day she got kicked out later in the night, she called me. I'm like, just going to my crib. For that bro. or for some other shit? Nah, for that. Okay. Because you know what I mean? Like, the, the mom knew of me. I met right. her in college. Like, you know, I was coming back, and that I wasn't mean, the proper way to meet your daughter, like, smack, splacking her out. You feel me? Still, like, yeah, like, sure. I don't not care the first meeting, my nigga. Right. I don't care. But what I you're at doing. least it's was just... like, the funniest shit out of all of it to me is when I turned and was like, look, at least I got a condom on. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, did the, I did the opening like, look, bro. Like, it wasn't like a chop, it but it was awesome. like, like you, you know, the, you might, like my man on Instagram. You know, like, yeah. you guys know but that? no, but I was trying to, I was trying to like calm the situation down. Like she's not going to be <laughs> pregnant, bro. Like we're at least we're adults and we're like, being safe, but I understand it was under her roof. You feel me? So no, I get it. I get it. But like, say, yeah. also attacking somebody that ain't cool either, man. Bro, she like, sw- and you know how you feel an air? Yeah, yeah. It was one of those. Like I was yeah. like, oh shit! Like that's when I scrambled out. Like I didn't get a chance to go to the bathroom. No, you feel me? Time and talks. It was so like you didn't. You didn't hear the front door open or nothing. Nah, nah. Just Damn. Like, what, what, what position were you in? Oh, missionary. Missionary. That's about yeah. say. That's how. We, that's but it was like it was like your bro. It was like bro who had to, uh lean in, who got lean tossed on my, out. Leaning on my elbow like this, and I look up like that shit was like an odd scene though. <laughs> you know how like the cops bust in, yeah, and the nigga get caught and he looking like oh shit. She didn't. Say, she moved in such silence she and prepped, and she was in, in such disgust. Do you do you think she, she she had staked out like she saw you before Pull you entered her house? I don't think so because I don't think she knew who I was. Because I feel like here's the thing, Trey. I feel like when I regularly enter my house, I'm not trying to be quiet because I don't give a shit, right? The only thing that would make me be quiet is if I well, heard the, something first. G2K she, she was definitely heard the clapping. 
Oh. The B2K was on though. I had the music playing. Oh. So Bob yeah, that's that's Bob. back. That's 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 back when sex was you know music was played. You still could press oh, play yo, and try to. Let me you know, I don't even know if niggas still do that. I can't do it. I've I've <laughs> had to request the music to be turned off. Like, this, this, can we stop? <laughs> yeah, get the, the I don't dogs, even know who the made dogs that. And the music. Get hey, you know, me has a lot of rules, bro. <laughs> but to imagine like on some shit like yo, yo, can you turn the music on? It's kind of quiet in here, and then you like. You're trying to pick the right soundtrack, but you got to, like, it's a lot of shit I, going on, bro. Plus, I enjoy the sounds of sex, man. Yeah, I don't want, I don't, don't deprive that's, me. Don't no, that's why you got to have the lights on, too. I'm trying to see. You have sex with New York girls, like, you might hear Griselda in the back, like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> like, it's stupid. Keep the lights on, all that. To say, no. by the way, it's the same reason I, I watch porn. You know, sometimes they have music playing in the beginning. But like once we get to fucking cut that music, dog. I ain't trying to that music, hey. dog. Yo, I'm not who, trying to hear that shit. Who was, a, be, a bed underneath it. Who was the first nigga? To, who was the first nigga to enjoy porn on mute? I think that nigga because that's the swag. If you was ever, I used to be like mute and be watching, just locked in, family. Because I, you know. But then also you think about the Wesley Pipes era where the nigga had the crazy ad libs. And you know that's what I mean? My, that's my nigga. Yo, that is my nigga. That's right that's there, the only volume on because that nigga yeah. said some wild shit like, damn bitch, your pussy wetter than my yeah. jumper right now. <laughs> I'm about to hawk spit in your mouth from deep. Oh man. <laughs> you fucking slut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yo, fucking slut. Nigga be fucking socking her back up. That nigga's a wild nigga, bro, in the poor game. I don't know how whoever. Gave him a lock and let him in the game. He was a wild nigga. Him and Mr. Marcus is two of the wildest porn. Oh, my nigga, Mr. Marcus. That nigga was wearing a bad hat before Bryson Tiller, nigga. And that shit was cuffed like he was a second baseman. Yep. yep, (laughs) Mr. Marcus definitely had the baseball under the brim with the rubber band around it. With the rubber band on it. To keep it nice and curved. Also, tube socks. And Tim's. Tube socks and Tim's, my nigga. nigga Nigga was using that shit for grip. He, was he a sick nigga, bro. That was like his whole shit. Yeah, I'm like not even shit. gonna lie, bro. Putting on sneakers, bro, for grip is crazy because you know the socks be twisted. If you got the gray tip socks, <laughs> nigga, the, the tip shit gonna be all in the middle. <laughs> no, you ain't never lie. <laughs> that's funny. And that's how lie. you know you. And that's how you know you focus because you sliding and you sliding look down at your socks, nigga. nigga. <laughs> if she got a hardwood floor, nigga, you sliding. You look down at your socks, nigga. The back heel part is on now oh, in the yeah. front of your. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, your your socks start looking like Dak, Dak Prescott's ankle and shit. Hey, yeah. you sick? Oh, oh shit! I watch Hard Knocks. Do y'all watch Hard Knocks? Yeah, they showed, yeah. They show that ankle injury like. Eight oh, that's how I feel the like they showed it way too much. Hey man, that's yeah, a that's, that's a funny. sick ass. That's a sick ass uh, show, man. Oh, Hard Knocks. I, 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 oh, you yeah, got Hard Knocks. So what what is like not to get off topic? What is our predictions for the next episode in power? For power, yeah. Okay. Um, I guess now this whole double agent shit for scrap gonna start happening. Uh, I think scrap gonna die though, one way or another. I think he's. Still, I think even though he's a double agent, fucking Kanan gonna fuck up and say, "I knew you were the one," and fucking kill him. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Rock gonna be like, "Nigga, I told you, you don't know shit. Mm-hmm. Don't do shit on my behalf." Uh, let's see what else. I think jukebox is gonna start turning violent now. Yep. Like I saw when she walking down the street, she saw the rich white people walking out their house. When she looked at them, I think now she's gonna start like she, on some stick up kid shit. She um, over. She over. She was overacting in that moment too. Not not oh, not, no. not, to, not to be a hater, but like I couldn't. No, I couldn't no, buy those cries. Durf, those cries. No, Durf, you're right. In 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 the house, I thought she. I was like, oh wow, she's doing a good yeah. job. Yeah. Weird or whatever. But when she stood outside, just. <laughs> I was like, come on. I was man. like, yo, she going fucking crazy in this Yeah, like, come on, man. But uh, by the way, shout, shout out to my nigga Famous, man. That nigga makes me laugh. I don't know what it is, man. I laugh Famous is a wild season. nigga. He looked like Eddie from New York Undercover. Yo, he said. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, he does. Yo, he said. He said, I've been waiting to hit the skin since we was the fifth grade. Said, yo, that's my cousin. <laughs> It's like, yeah, so, so, and then it, she's like, yo, come to the studio. Come on. Like, you, you're going to you be on so, my dick. You're going to be on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> typical, yo, typical pull, nigga though, man. Typical yeah. nigga, bro. Pulled out, pulled out the playboy. Talked about this is going to be a three or four to me one day. So nine to most niggas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
fam- fam- famous is funny, man. Yo, you know, and famous also the nigga that has zero filter. He was like, "What None. y'all beef? Y- y'all beefing now?" I get it, bro. <laughs> bro he pulls hey. up. Famous pulls up, just he fucks everything up, bro. Because it's like he has no feel for the co- no the conversation. It's just like it's just nothing, bro. He just be just no acting filter, up. Just yeah, exactly. He just say anything that comes to his mind. And was that the first time the uncle slashed his sister? Hey, been trying it for for a minute. Because I understood no, no, like they, that was his no, they girl. Been, but they like, been fucking, but that's the first time they show us them fucking. Okay, okay. Because he he looked like he was a little bit too passionate about that. Like he got his no, power it's, off. It's power. Nobody, nobody, okay. nobody, nobody just Fair. fucks. It has to be like the most powerific sex scene. So is, is White Shorty uh, out of the out of the picture? The club owner? Hmm, I don't know. Well, no, she'll be back. Like she'll it. be back. She'll we're, be back. We're, they 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 do too much business in that club. And yeah. we're back to shitting on Marvin, right? Like that was like the yeah, one. Marvin is the Arthur. wildest nigga. He's Yo, a wild I think, nigga. I think Marvin actually. He was dogging not, his brother though. I ain't gonna not, lie. Not 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 this episode coming up, but like this season. I think Marvin and I think the brother since he had his sex scene. I think he dies now. Like you know he fulfilled his power contract, and I think Marvin might actually be the nigga to kill him. Um. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm just having a real power moment right now, and then I also um oh. What you call is gonna die. Um, she will die also. Um, but not after Kanan puts a seed in her, because that is definitely uh um, oh Davina. That's definitely Sean's mom. She's gonna die because uh when Jukebox said her, or not Jukebox, uh, when Famous, you know, blew up the whole spot and said what you know what the beef is over, they you know, they did the ultimate power thing and they they panned to the to the lady and she, she looked up. Yeah. Yeah, so lady. like yeah, yeah. clearly she's gonna say something. But she, but Kanan must have a kid super duper young then because you know I don't know but but, but well, hold on so regular power shit I forgot a, about that happens it happens in what two thousand five right when or two thousand fifteen excuse me 15, 15, yeah. 15. All right. two thousand fifteen yeah right to twenty fifteen right so Sean was yeah twenty fourteen twenty fifteen so this would have been yeah it makes sense because it's ninety one. Right now in in power, so okay. by 2015, Sean will be 24 years old. So he knocks up Davina by the end of this season, mm-hmm. 23, 24 years old, which is about the age that nigga is. The driving ass nigga. What a Matter of fact, and Rock Rock can't kill her. Never mind, Rock won't kill her because she's she's having her grandbaby. Now that that's more power than anything else. Rock doesn't kill her because she's having her grandbaby. Hmm. She's got to live. He got a hit first, though. But how many episodes oh, he's, we get until he hit? My yeah, nigga can't yeah. look. See, my nigga can't and caught. He's caught. He's caught a body. He's been there for a body. He's now cooking up crack. I think he's achieved mm-hmm. a lot. So him getting them yams yeah. is most likely going to happen pretty soon. Not, he's achieving not, in almost every aspect of the game <laughs> that he's trying to enter. In. Not to be like naive or whatever, but that kind of crazy. This nigga did all this shit. Still hasn't had pussy. Like it would just seem to me like pussy's a lot easier to get to than it than like <laughs> killing somebody. Like if I killing minded. somebody before you get to skeet and some good tight good old American VJJ. <laughs> huh? like, like, what? Man, like, oh man, like he got man, a lot pe- going on for sure. <laughs> a lot going on. He got a lot cracking, like we were talking about earlier. Yeah, something something major gonna go down. But yeah, I see what you're saying. I mean, yeah. that is a lot yeah, to that is a lot to happen without. You know, like having no having no Johns on the line, for, for real. Sure. Just like get a handy, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> a handy is crazy. Shout out to a handy, man. I got the worst handy in college one time. Oh, uh, it's horrible. From a left hander, it was like skiing, oh. bro. It <laughs> <laughs> you know, got... was mad dry and it hurt. Oh, I hit it hurt so bad, bro. Fucking hate terrible handy. Handies. Uh, a handy is childish. It's yeah. terrible. Super, super childish. Go get the Avino at least. That's no. the high school shit. No. <laughs> the Jurgens. <laughs> at least. Cocoa butter. Yeah. Something. Gotta have something on deck. Man, that not shit the, is not all... the dry lefty joint. No. Nah. Oh, man, bro. <laughs> Trey, not the dry lefty. You got to That shit up, was dude. crazy, family. Like, that shit was. You gotta I don't speak know, up. man. I was bored one time. <laughs> I was hey, bored hey. time, bro. That shit hurt. But, hey, but you know what's crazy? You know what's, hey, you know what's crazy, though? 
You know what's crazy? Shorty, Shorty did that shit to like five of my teammates, family. So niggas had a had a relatable story. Oh, uh, like you too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, niggas like nigga, that shit hurt, huh? <laughs> Yanking <laughs> on nigga shit. Shit is Dry. crazy. But um, before, before we get out of here, man, I want to say uh, happy belated birthday to the great Nipsey Hussle. And then oh, yeah. also, um, you know, I uh, want to send my thoughts and prayers and financial, if you can help, to Haiti. It's a lot going on yeah, in Haiti right yeah. now. Uh, one more, one more. I guess if we're ending with sad notes, man. I don't know how many of y'all follow Tony Baker. The uh, He's a comedian on Instagram. I'm, I guarantee if you've ever seen an Instagram video of animals. And yeah, he animals does the voiceovers. Talking, he does the voiceovers. His son died in a, a car wreck a couple of weeks ago in uh, in Burbank. Uh, mm. He, him, and uh, him and a couple of his friends, they were in a car, and there was some other like they were just regular driving, and some other kids were drag racing mm. uh, on the strip, and they uh, they you know they they hit the car and they passed away, and you know to- Tony, uh, look man, let me tell you some that's a strong brother right there, man, because he's, you know, at first he took a few days off, like he didn't do nothing. And then he put out a message talking about thank you for all, all the kind wishes or whatever. And then he was like, you know what, man, my son would want me to joke about this. And so even as he's mourning and saying some sad shit, he'll still drop, like, it'll be something funny in there. And every time I'm like, damn, man, I don't know if I could ever have that kind of strength to be, uh, be ha ha in this moment mm-hmm. right but also th- where it actually is funny so I'm, I'm gonna just get some some examples right he write he wrote these spam bots don't give a damn who died i'll post a, i miss my son and they'll be like dm me to earn more money from home i glad i invested <laughs> you're so hot hey man we mourning out here yeah. uh is it with the loss of my son regret has been trying to bring his raggedy Okay, bring his raggedy ass around. Regret had on some dusty ass curled up K Swiss. I told Regret, get off my porch. Regret had a shirt on with a hole in it, right where his ashy nipple is. I was looking at his nipple the whole time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, COVID really, yeah, COVID really sat, sat up here and hated all my son's funeral plans. Go was like, I'm sorry for your loss, family. Let me hug y'all. <laughs> yeah, I think you know, you just. When you're mourning, you're just going to go with what you know. And that's that's what he, who he is as a person. So it's something he's he's leaning on. But like you said, but, that is crazy. crazy but to be show. honest, though, that's us. That's black people. We find humor in trauma and tragedy. And that's how we keep going, bro. The, the term laugh and crying is strictly yeah. for black people, bro. That's a space where you like, damn, you not. It's not that we don't care, bro, but we understand that life is. This motherfucker still gonna keep going, bro. No matter these what, jokes, my nigga. These jokes are still gonna. Them fly. jokes still gonna fly, my nigga. Yeah. That shit. You could be like, damn, he dead, bro. But fuck, man. Remember that yeah. nigga showed up, nigga, with the with the with the one sock, nigga, and he folded yeah. the other, nigga, because he was poor. A nigga started capping on you and don't even care. But you really want that to happen. It ain't like there ain't no fake yeah. shit. That's just how we mob. Yeah. Well, it ain't like we don't one. care. It's a mechanism. Last, yeah. Last one. I'm, I'm gonna read to y'all, man. Said, man, I was outside crying. And then I awkwardly made eye contact with this dog while he was in mid dump. <laughs> couldn't tell, couldn't tell if he was sad for me or if those were the mid dump humility eyes. <laughs> you know, you know the look a dog be at when he be shaking. Hey, one, one of them joints where they struggling and a little ass be shaking. Because <laughs> they, they, they try to develop, they tried to develop the emoji poop where the shit just yeah, got yeah. layers. <laughs> the, the looking at you like help. <laughs> We give, you know you know who has the same look in their eyes? You ever been walking around and see a nigga get arrested and they were like they put him in the squad car, the nigga always will make eye contact with you. don't even know if he make eye contact with you. Them same sad eyes. Like, Cause he know hey, cause he know that phone call is not about to get picked up. That's why <laughs> you going straight to bookings, boy. Like ain't nobody picking up that phone call. Nigga said, You better oh, not be caught. Also, shout out to my mama, man. She got that job. Hey, oh, congrats, congrats. To mama. Yeah, she yeah, texted me. She texted me mid show, and I'm like, That's love. nigga, I'm recording, yeah. but shout out no, to you. Yeah, there you go. She got it. All right, y'all. That gonna do it for us as always. Please, please, please check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash 
Count the dings, all the exclusive content, all the live shows, all the bomb overflows like we did the last couple of weeks, all the Cinephobes special edition episodes like the one we did that I don't even – oh, it's for Space Jam. That's right. <laughs> we got another one coming up. It's August, so we got we got to get an August one in there. So be on the lookout for another special edition Cinephobe coming. Uh, as always, thank you to Portugal Poppy, our producer, Sean. <laughs> thank you, Black Trade. Thank you, Big Jerv. Stay black, motherfuckers.